All right, I'm going to show you how to make an array. When we make an array, we're just going to make columns which go up and down. And we're going to think about how many items to put in each column. So we have two numbers here, and it doesn't matter what order you do it in. So I can do two columns with four in them, or I can do four columns with two in them. I like to just take the first number, and those are my columns. So I'm going to make two columns. You can use the grids here to help you if you want to, but you don't have to. So for example, um, let's use the houses. I'll set that guy there. There's one column. And then I'll set this guy next to him in this little box here. Okay, two columns and there need to be four houses in each one. Okay, so I already have one. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four in this row or column. And then four in this column. So that's how you make your array. The first number is the number of columns that you have. So I've got a column here. And then I've got a column here, okay? And then the second number is how many are in each column. So in my first column, I have one, two, three, four. And in my second column, I have one, two, three, four. So I have two columns, column one and column two of four. And so it looks like a grid. Okay, that's how you make an array. And then when you want to put your answer in, you count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therefore, two times four is eight. To put the answer in the box, just click one time and then type right away. So two times four is eight. And that's how you make your arrays.